hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Kyla Malabati and I'm back again with another video <laughs> Here's my notes. Um, this video is basically about finding your feet, right? This is in terms of um, school, school educational basis, job. Okay, not job basis, because I'm not gonna say anything about jobs. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is choosing subjects. Obviously, you're gonna choose your subjects in grade nine for grade ten, right? So I personally didn't know what I wanted to be, but I knew that I wanted something in the medical aspect because I feel like that's what everyone was going for so I also chose that I honestly personally I did not know anything I did not know what I wanted to be and I was like looking getting scared because everyone had their lives pretty figured out you see so for me it was a bit of pressure but looking at looking back at it now I feel like I shouldn't have pressured myself like that because everyone has their own path you just need to figure out yours okay so um there's these people that came to our school that helped us choose our subjects type of thing okay well they don't choose it for us they just helped us know what we're passionate with and where they could help us so we did a personality test which had ads english and like just questions about different workforces to see if whether or not you belong in that career i came in grade nine and then the subjects that i got was cat um creative arts and math lit obviously i didn't choose those things from that list i literally only took cat and then i took pure math because i didn't want to do the financial math calculating window sizes i'm sorry if you do do math lit but i don't know i just don't see myself doing that so i took pure math yeah i shop it dropped but it was something that i genuinely enjoyed i did pure math um cat consumer studies and life sciences life sciences was mainly because i love life sciences and at the back of my mind i thought that i wanted to be a nurse i went from wanting to be a plastic surgeon because of botched um a neurologist i don't know where that came from and then also the last one was a nurse before i started doing the thing that i'm doing now okay if you're in grade nine and there's there's no company that's going to come to your school for you to do a personality test you can do it online you can just search like personality test for choosing subject something like that but it's fine if you can't find it link it down below and you can take the test and then you'll see which careers they give you and then you'll choose your subjects according to that career but also you can just look at what you love doing what you love watching and then from that you'll be able to determine that if you go into a specific career you're gonna enjoy it because you're enjoying it now yes and don't let your parents force you to do what you don't want to do that's not going to end well and then also to choose your subject you can just look at your marks how you've been performing i think the natural science just comes out as natural science but i think if you go to your teacher and you ask her like which one are you best in between life science and physics because you guys do both things and you'll be able to tell and then with technology if your school doesn't have technology you can go to a different school that does egd then you can go into like engineering and then with CAD, there's no subject that really does CAD, so I think you'd have to like do a self introspection and see if you really like CAD. I did CAD because I enjoy like technology, if I can say that. I enjoy working with devices. Um, I'm a YouTuber. I enjoy editing, and CAD can really take it. Okay, I only took CAD because my mark wasn't good enough for me to take IT. My math mark wasn't good enough for me to take IT, so I decided to take CAT instead. Had it been good enough, I was definitely gonna take IT. Then also when it comes to choosing your marks, you can look at the prospectus. Once you once you know what you wanna do, you can look at the prospectus and then that's gonna help you to choose your subject. And then also once you know what you wanna do and your career doesn't require you to do peer maths. You don't have to do pure maths to impress your parents. You can take maths lit and still do good in school. Like you still get a bachelor's even if you take maths lit. I feel like people are like when you hear maths lit, people are like ew, 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 ew. But there's jobs like there's careers like law that don't require you to have pure maths. You can just get like a what a level six, seven for maths lit, and you're good to go. So look at things like that if you're not that strong in maths. <laughs> Point of view you're in grade 11 and you're excited that you're premature. Like, 
if you're in grade 11 you have to pull up your socks you need to push you need to push 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 because your final marks in grade 11 is the marks that you're gonna use to apply for university so you can't just be chilling and chilling and chilling what marks are you gonna use to apply the 12 term one and then they also don't come out good please you need to push you need to really push in grade 11 so you can secure yourself a spot in university grade 11 final marks are really really important and i feel like not many people realize this until they start applying and they're seeing that the APS scores are really low so your grade 11 final marks are very very important get the prospectus make sure that your APS score passes that because I don't think universities want people who have mediocre marks thing is now with the marks that you get in grade 11 you need to get those exact same marks in grade 12 but probably add them up don't go down because your APS score is only allowed to drop with one point then as soon as applications open don't walk run 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 and apply apply to all the don't say okay i know i'm smart i'm just gonna apply to two universities and they're gonna accept me yeah sure it might work in your favor but you need plan b and c so apply to as many universities as you can and with that also there's a registration fee that you need to pay when you apply for applications it's non-refundable which is the sad part but do know that there's a registration fee for every time you apply to a university but it's not all the universities and then it ranges from like 100 rand to 300 rand and then there's also nbt's there's specific qualifications that require you to write an nbt so find out if whether or not your qualification is going to need you to write an nbt and if it requires you to study and then write it try find like past papers of the nbt even though it's like very difficult try find something like that and then you can be able to write your nbt because your nbt also helps you in getting accepted into a uni and then obviously if you don't do well with your grade 11 final marks then you can use your grade 12 term 1 marks that means they also have to be like really good um, my advice to matrix has to be past papers past papers past papers and past papers i know you've seen a lot of youtubers telling you to use past papers to pass and you probably took it as a joke it's not a joke it's not a joke I used past papers and I was able to be a top laner in CAT for a couple of terms. Don't use past papers just in prelims and just in your finals. Like the whole, the entire year, use past papers to study for your test. Start pushing in your term one tests. Then your term two tests, you're not gonna study a lot because you're already gonna have the knowledge from term one. So you're just gonna be adding on top of that knowledge. Then the same with prelims. By the time finals come, you're just doing past papers because you know all the work. All the work is in your head. You're just doing past papers. Work smart, not hard. Also, when you're applying for when you need, have a backup plan, which is a college. I know not many people are familiar with colleges. We're all used to traditional universities. I know. I'm also there. I was okay. Well, I was also there. But keep an open mind and apply for colleges so that if plan A and B doesn't work, you have a C. And C is for what? It's for college. Thank you. But yes, keep an open mind and apply to colleges. I know colleges are expensive. I know, I know, I know. I know colleges and private institutions are expensive. But apply there just for plan C. Congratulations to those people that have passed matric. Welcome. We welcome you. And if you did not do good, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Rewrite. Go rewrite. You're gonna come out with distinctions. And when I'm saying rewrite, don't go and go in with the same with the mind that I failed matric. What's the point now? No, go in with the mind of I'm gonna work my dude off right and i'm gonna get those distinctions imagine focusing on three subjects the entire year you're telling me that once you write that exam you're gonna come out with the 60. no if you put in the work you're gonna come out with the 80. if you put in the work you do the past papers i guarantee you if you don't la, 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 if you don't you can come to me i'll pay you i'll pay you a money I'll pay you a money if you don't come out with the 70% and above. The entire year doing three subjects, relearning the concepts, and it's not even like you're starting from scratch, 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 because there is knowledge to still remember. So you're just brushing off your skills and doing past pay 
is and then once you've written that then you can go find a job for the rest of the year and then next day you, um, you apply to uni you study your dream qualification within a couple of years get on I'm gonna put a graduation hat. So you can do it. If uh, my chat is not, if the other generations could do it, what is stopping you? Hmm? What is stopping you? If you're in my trick and you're struggling, why aren't you going to your peers? Why aren't you going to the smart kids? Why are you not getting down on your knees and asking the man above to help you, give you strength, so you can do your absolute best? Hmm? I feel like, honestly, it's a mindset thing. The amount of effort that we put shows with our marks. Don't be afraid to speak to your teacher. Don't speak to your teacher. Ask your teacher for help. Even if you have to stay, don't do naughty business now. Don't do that now. If you have to stay at school until five o'clock, so your teacher can sit down with you and explain, word by word, sum by sum, plus by plus, minus by minus. Sit down and do it, cause it's gonna pay off, guys. It's genuinely gonna pay if off. If you are going to uni this year, you got your marks. Whether you rewrote or you just got your metric results i'll put a link for um bursaries not like like a bursary website where you guys can go and look for bursaries according to what you're going to be studying because i feel like we all need bursaries and then if you need to rewrite guys please don't feel discouraged if you need to rewrite like it's really gonna help you out in the future okay so i got i did good in grade 11 i did good in grade 12 but the only downfall was my maths mark like yo but either way, I feel like more than anything, had I had someone push me and tell me like the things that I just told you guys right now, I feel like I was gonna get away better maths mark because I barely looked for help, guys. Like yeah, I did I did go to master maths, but that was like towards the end. I didn't start master maths from the beginning. It was like towards the end. So okay, and then I applied to obviously I wanted to do nursing, so I applied to unis. I applied to unis for nursing and I also applied to the Harding College of Nursing um, they all accepted me and then when my statement came out obviously my mass box were bad so I couldn't go there so instead I went to I'm currently attending at a private institution and I am studying a diploma in information technology yes I'm a woman in STEM so i wanted to tell you that everyone's story is different don't compare yourself to anyone just because you did not pass metric or you did not get that b on your reports no we don't do reports you did not get that b on your statement it doesn't mean that that's where your journey is gonna end until god says no no one can stop you keep going your journey only stops when the lord says no so until he says no keep going okay keep going and then you are your own competition you are your only competition don't look at what everyone else is doing don't look at what everyone else is achieving and you not focus on you because at the end of the day it's all gonna fall into whose hands your hands so you are your own competition okay and then also guys pray like pray congratulations you are pre-matric pray thank the lord for that congratulations you're in matric now pray thank the lord for that okay like you just got that b you got you just got that d you just got that h pray and thank the lord for that if you're supposed to rewrite or you're going to a school that you never wanted to go to pray and ask for strength because had the Lord not wanted you to go there, I don't think you are going to be there in the first place. Invite the Lord into your plans and you will see them. Meh. This is the last motivational quote. quote. It says, God is always working, so clap for others until it's your turn. As much as you may not see that he's working, just know that he is always working. Also guys, no, you can't pray like, five minutes before an exam that you didn't study for 
there's this other like sermon that um Rizan did oh my gosh i was listening to it and i'm like yeah many people need to hear this if i can i'll add it like here but um i hope you all are doing well i hope you're all happy if you're not here's a hug here's a kiss and i'll see you guys in the next video mm -hmm.